Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lena. I'm back with a new show called The Loud House. It's actually a cartoon. It premiered on Nickelodeon today, May 2nd, and it's created and directed by Chris Savino. He made it up, and you know, it's a, basically about the adventures of a boy who gives tips on how to survive living with 10, 10 sisters. So it makes 11 kids, it's 10 sisters and one boy. 10 girls, one boy. So, <laughs> it's an animated television series, you know, where they got, like, other shows on Nickelodeon, Spongebob, you know, and that's basically Nickelodeon as a whole. And I watched it. It was a whole 30 minutes, but it was two episodes in one. Let's start with the cast. So, you got Lincoln, Loud. The Loud House, they all names Loud. Voiced by Grant Palmer. At 11 years old, Lincoln is the only son in middle child of the Loud family. He's an avid reader of comic books and frequently speaks to the viewer on how he gets around the often chaotic conditions of the household by finding creative solutions to his problem. Which makes good sense. You got Lori Loud, voiced by Catherine Tabor. At 17 years old, at 17 years old, she's the eldest of the Loud children. A fact she takes pride in. Lori is depicted as bossy, sarcastic, and condescending towards Lincoln, despite that she does care about her brothers and sisters. Lenny Loud, Lilian, Liliana Mummy, she voiced her. She's a 16 year old. She's the second oldest of the Loud children. Lenny is depicted as a dumb blonde who is kind of kind and pretty, but is naive and lacks intelligence. She shows her talents in fashion designing. Then you got Luna Loud. At 13, 15 years old, she is the third oldest child of Loud family. Luna is a free spirited musician and interested in rock and roll. And the person who voiced Luna Lau is N Nika Futterman. Then you got Luann Lau, voiced by Christina Puccelli. She's 14 years old. She's the fourth oldest of the Lau children. Luann is fond of pop practical jokes and comedy, and she wears braces but has squirt flies on her shirt and shoes and owns a ventriloquist dummy. Name is the Coconuts. Then you got Lynn Lau. She's the fifth oldest of the Lau children, 13 years old. She's very energetic and competitive and often engages in sports. Jessica DeKicho De voiced her. I'm about to say that right. Then you got Lucy Lau. At 8 years old, she's the 5th youngest of the Lau children. She's a cynical, deadpan, and sarcastic emo girl. Then you got Lola Lau. At 6 years old, she is Lana. She and Lana are identical twin sisters. Lola is a bratty, girly girl who dresses in pink princess attire and acts as a telltale for the family. And it was voiced by Grey Delise Griffin. Now, she do all of the voices for basically anything. Oh my god. She is just on a whole bunch of stuff. She's on everything. She she do Vicky and Tootie from Fairy Odd Pants. She do Sam on Danny Phantom. Mandy from the Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Daphne from the Scooby Doo franchise. She do everything. Basically, she just do everything. Frankie, Duchess, and Goo from Fox's Home for Imaginary Friends. Like, I don't I, I can't even get into it right now. But I, that's why I knew something sounded for me. I was like, who was that? And that's her. She's always do everything. Lana Lau is actually voiced by Gray Delise Griffin too. Also. So then, Lisa Loud, uh, voiced by Laura Jill Miller. She's a four-year-old kid. She's the second youngest of the Loud children. Lisa, she's a child prodigy who graduated college with a PhD and often engages in complex equations and experiments. And you got, <laughs> that's all of the Loud children because there's a lot of them. Then you got Lincoln's best friend, Clyde McBride. He's voiced by Khalil Harris. He's his best friend. He serves as a wingman to him and his exploits. He's the only child that spends almost all his time with Lincoln. He got a crush on Lori, basically, and is, like, obsessive. Then you got their dad, who Brian Stepanek, he voiced, and he's actually on Ricky, Dicky, Ricky, Nicky, Dicky, and Dawn, the other Nickelodeon show. He played a dad, and, you know, he's their dad. Then you got the mom, who Jill Talley voiced, and Jill Talley actually voiced Karen on Spongebob, and her husband is Tom Kenny, who voiced Spongebob, and then she was Sarah Dubois on the Boondocks. So it's a, it's a whole lot. Of voice actors on here that's very familiar that was on a whole bunch of other stuff that i know probably because i watch cartoons all the time but let's get on to the whole show and what happened so it started with hunter Spectre. he's like do you believe in ghosts and he's a host of this big old ghost show and it's gonna be the big season finale and lincoln has to find a way to get all his sisters not to try to watch tv so he gotta distract them so he said every sunday is crazy and they want to watch tv so then clive is like his bestie he's like okay i'm gonna help you with this but then he was like okay with his operation to stack my sisters so I can watch TV. So then he got three of them. He got the first three. Then he got Lisa. And she's all like science kid and stuff. He got her her science stuff. Then he got Linda. Then he had Lenny. And then he had Luna. And then he had, yeah, he just got everybody. He got the little baby. Then he's like, that makes 10. Then he's like, I'm not the fastest or the strongest, but I can do this if I got a plan. But then he forgot Lucy. He was like, oh my God, I forgot about you. She's like, story of my life. And then she was like, okay, come on. And he was like, well, I gotta watch my vampire show because I like vampires. But then he was like, okay. But wouldn't you like to watch on, like, a black and white TV that dad got? And he's like, what? And she's like, okay. So she, he fooled her to get the black and white TV so he could watch that TV. And then he went to go plug it in. And then the whole power went out. So it was like, oh, my God. 
why so then everybody was so mad at him Luann was glowing and at Lisa used them for like her experiments she actually put the bioluminescence from something else and put it in the cookie and she called it a glorium and I was like, okay. And then, you know, she, they was like, okay, well, you can, you can light up. But Lori, is, since she's the oldest, she's in charge of the Pentagon. So then Luann kept making light jokes. She was like, she went out. Like, her whole light went out. She's like, I thought I was staying in, but I guess I'm going out. Everybody was like, Luann, shut up. I thought it was cool. So then, you know, they was like, well, let's go in the basement and stuff. To get the power switch. So then what's the Lori was like, I can't do that. I'm scared. Well, at first she was scared. But then Lincoln was like, okay, I'll just do it. We'll be brave. So then he was like, okay. Um, I need Clyde. So he was like, Clyde was like, is that Lori? And he was like, circuit overload, must abort mission. Every time you see Lori, he do that. So then, you know, he fell down the basement stairs, Lincoln did, but they all went down there by, by you know, each, each other because then they used Luann's night camera. So she's like, I do like dark humor. Then Lily got like a full diaper and they thought it was a ghost, but it was just a laundry. So Clyde was like, I'm sorry I left. Does Lori want to be with a younger man? And she was like, no. He was like, mission abort, mission abort. So then he finally made it to the TV, but then he started crying because he missed his whole show. So then I was like, I'm sorry guys, but you lived your show. They all grabbed like him some popcorn and stuff and hugged him. And then they watched the show, which was just like his own ghost show that he liked to watch because it was down in China's turn on the power switch and it was like a ghost down there so then he was like it's not about getting there first it's about being all together then he then lucy was like he forgot me and they was like because <gasps> they, they think she's so scary oh my god then he's like you forgot me so then they went into the second episode which they had in like one you know two episodes in one but no that's what they do with cartoons so then you know lincoln he was playing and he was like take that zombie feel my twerk evil jerk and i was like okay and he was playing through his glasses, but then he ended up in Lori's room. So she was like, okay, I'm talking to my boyfriend, Bobby. Don't come in here. I'm going to make you a human pretzel. So then he went to go pee. And he was like, these zombies don't need to see this. But then Lori knocked on the door and then just pushed him out. So his gaming glasses was in there. So like the two little ones, they was like little hall monitors, the two twins. They was like, we hall monitors. You can't be doing that. So then Luann was like, she was like, you, this is what we did. The Luann, we locked her up. So then she was like, you heard about the thief who stole a calendar? He got 12 months. And I was like, that's five more minutes, Luann. Don't be doing that. So then his glasses are just ruined. They stepped on him. So he told Clyde. And then he was like, oh, my God. Luann's uh, beautiful tootsies touch these. And he was like, dude, get yourself together first. So then he can't believe uh, this is happening. So he's going to give her a call. He's like, what type of call are you going to give? So he's like, what I've been writing on this paper all this time. It said you were horrible sister. So he went to go. He said it all on the phone. And then uh, the guitar started playing. The girl started playing the guitar with the sisters. And it, it was all out there. And Clyde was like, he said all of that, but then Lori came back and she was like, I'm sorry I broke your glasses, so I bought, bought you some more. Don't be mad. I'm glad you didn't get all freaked out because that's really mature of you. So he was like, oh my God. So it was Operation Get Lori's Phone so she don't hear the voicemail. Then they have to do that, but she got a key and a keypad to her room, so how are you going to do this? So Clyde's going to be on the lookout, and Link was like, it's the popo. So... Clyde was like, it's the monitors, they like, is that poop? And they like, all oh, that floor, so they gotta figure out what's gonna happen. And they gotta distract them, but then Clyde was like, you talking to me, the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? You gotta talk to me and stuff. Then it was like a whole plan, but they they didn't do it that right then. They had to talk about it first before they did. Then It was crazy. So then, you know, it was stinking, and Link put, like, underwear on his mouth, but he didn't know it was underwear. So then when he took it off, he threw up because he was trying to hide away from the hot hall monitors so they didn't see him or he'd get in trouble. So then he went in the vents, and then Lucy was up there, and she was like, I just wrote a new poem called Ventilating. Then he was like, Clive, get me out of here. And then he just, like, scooted away from her. Then his walkie-talkie fell in the water, the toilet water, when it was in the bathroom. So then they was in Lori, Lori's room. They finally got in there. So Clive gave him a cherry licorice rope. And it broke, obviously. So then Lori was coming, and he's like, I'm going to stall her. So then he took off his shirt, wore a yellow mustache. He's supposed to write a black mustache, like in a plan, put book, like in a plan they had. Then she was like, what are you doing? And then he was just, he his nose started bleeding. It. Like, really, like, like, really bad. It just started running. And he, and he just, like, froze, and that was it. So then, you know, she was going in there, so then it was, like, noise and stuff. So she's like, oh, my God, it's a new message on my thing. So then it was, like, crazy. Clive had tissue in his nose. So then the hall monitors almost got him, but then it was like, oh, he's out of our jurisdiction. He's downstairs already. So then, you know, she was about to hear the voicemail, then she deleted it. And she was like, I got two rules. Two rules. Stay out of my house, stay out of my room, and don't call me. So he's like, yeah, that's right, that's good. But then she's like, but I'm going to let it slide because you've been mature. So then he was like, okay, well, um... I'm glad I didn't write a nasty letter. So then he was like, wait, where is that letter? And then Lori found it in the bathroom. And she was like, you're going to be a human pretzel. Then he's like, I'm going to do the official dance at the Loud House. They're running, man.
no, not that, not that running man, but the other running man. But yeah, so that was that old episode. Overall, the show, did I like it? Um, I'm asking my own question because it's not here. Did I like it? Um, I guess so. It was some funny parts in it. Yeah, I kind of have Clyde, his little best friend, and you know, with Clive, it was. I think he's bringing the show together, and I like how they like yelling how little twins at the Hall Myers trying to get him and stuff, and then Luann making her funny jokes, and hopefully I see more of this, and like, I'm gonna watch uh, the next episode, watch the next episode, because every day an episode's in the air on May 3rd, but then it's gonna go jump to May 9th and May 10th, you know, it's, it's gonna be a whole bunch of crazy stuff that's gonna happen, you know, it's gonna come out every day though, because that's what Spongebob is doing, new episodes come out of Spongebob every single day throughout the whole week, so... I think this show is actually supposed to be about rabbits, but then they just turn into humans, so I guess it's pretty cool. Uh, maybe, some people might be able to relate to this, like with a lot of siblings and stuff like that, you know, and like getting loud, and husbands be so loud, running around, making noise, like, be quiet, come on now, be quiet. I mean, I ain't got that much, like, ten, ten sisters, like, I don't got that much, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching this review. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Your thoughts if you like this show, you're gonna be watching it every day. You're gonna be watching SpongeBob, because I still like to watch SpongeBob. But I don't watch it as much, but I still like to like watch the older episodes because they're funny. Like with um, the Sweet Sweet Victory one with the marching band, I like that one still. And then when Squidward and Squillian was doing the little dance and stuff, I like that so too. And when it's like the Krusty Krab Pizza. Yeah, that's my favorite ones. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Request more videos.